Quelle connaissance, quelle compétence, which la géographie knowledge. Which skills can geography contribute to the study of sustainable development? Sustainable development is a new idea based on an ancient relationship between man and society. So we may wonder what tools geographers have in order to interpret sustainable development. Sustainable development is normally represented with three spheres, social, economy, and ecology. And uh, today we admit the, de the definition from the Brundtland report, development, sustainable development is a development which meets uh, today's generations without compromising the needs of future generations. However, geographers uh, study in space and they use these three spheres. Society will be all of the players in a given territory. Economy is, are the uh, activities of the players and ecology, the resources available in the same territory and the risks inherent to the territory. And time is the unavoidable parameter that applies to everything. We're now going to uh, see what is the relevant territory for an action, as uh, is said by François Massibou, Mansibou, and then we will look at the uh, players present on the territory, and we will show the territories carry memories. The geographical analysis shows the role played by actors in the uh, current notion of territories, and it shows possible choices for the future. The definition for territory will be Guy de Monod's definition. The territory is an appropriation which is both political and economic, ideological of a space by groups which give themselves a specific representation of themselves. Space is also, or territory rather, is a multi-scale space, and therefore territories must be analyzed on different uh, scales. Take the example of risks. One may uh, analyze a territory on the level of a hydrographic basin or on the level of a town for technological risks or a uh, transport scale. If we look at pollution, chemical pollution risks or the risk of polluting the uh, river Donau, which goes through different countries, and therefore there is a reinforced interdependence and we need to have a systemic approach on a territory because actions will have uh, repercussions on neighboring territories. On the planet scale, the analysis seems to have uh, to be faced with some obstacles. Sometimes it is not adjusted to a given uh, field or territory. If we want to manage resources on the planet level, on the planetary level, there may be obstacles in some countries. Forest management, uh, eco-certified forest management may uh, be detrimental for southern countries and deprive them of a source of income. One may therefore wonder whether it is necessary that uh, sustainable uh, development planning uh, policies be applied on the planet level and if the local scale is not the most relevant. In this field, there are several actors, uh, a multiplicity of actors involved, international bodies such as the United Nations, Northern Hemisphere countries, Southern Hemisphere countries when they are asked for, for their advice or non-governmental organizations and uh, big international companies and this multiplicity of players or actors is such that uh, Managing sustainable development altogether is difficult. It is difficult to get everybody to agree, and not everybody can agree on a common policy. Is it therefore necessary to have some kind of political authorities imposing sustainable management over a given territory? A political authority is absolutely vital. Think about managing transportation in a town or managing waste in a group of towns. This can only be done with the help of a political authority because only a political authority will be able to manage the territory in a sustainable way. However, individual choices to act in a given territory is something for the citizen to decide. The citizen is directly involved and affected by the problems uh, raised by sustainable development issues. And if the citizen takes the initiative, if his action is visible on the field, and it, if it is efficient, then citizens will want to be involved and will want to participate in a sustainable development policy. Geography may prepare them 
for individual and uh, collective choices, but this means that we have to educate people to sustainable development so that they can choose in a relevant and informed way sustainable development policies. This education for sustainable development seems to be something feasible in democratic countries. There are huge divides between northern countries and southern countries, and sustainable development also means that we uh, reduce inequalities if we want sustainable development to be efficient. The territories carry memories. Uh, Sustainable strategies can be the result of uh, resilience in some territories. For instance, here we have Japan. Ancient Japanese had uh, erected uh, stones uh, after tsunamis, uh, some of them date to the f back to the 14th century, and they can be found on the hills of some Japanese uh, areas. And after the 2011 tsunami, people rediscovered the existence of those uh, stones. In some villages, uh, they dated back to 1933, and it was written that no house should be built below these uh, milestones in order not to be affected by tsunamis. And uh, the inhabitants in the area did not build any houses lower than these stones. Uh, that i.e. less than 800 meters away from the sea in order to be safe from tsunamis. Geography also uh, contributes uh, to uh, technical knowledge accumulation. We can uh, acquire knowledge on floods or low, flo low flow periods. And as we can see on this graph, uh, for the uh, National Geographic Commission, maps were drawn to try and understand the history of uh, plains. In uh, some of those plains, there are different steps. The lowest level corresponds to the most frequent flood, but the uh, weakest one, whereas the highest level, which is the centennial flood, will uh, correspond to a low frequency but a high intensity uh, flood. In conclusion, geography has been studying for a long time the relationship between man and nature, and therefore it can play an essential role in sustainable development. Space is not just the background for human activity, it is also a, play, a player in the organization of the territory, and geography can help understand space uh, with other sciences, and it can therefore provide uh, an explanation with its complexity in the, un in the understanding of sustainable development.